This is an insane end board. This is just an unreasonable, unbelievable end board. Now listen to me, this deck and the combo that you're about to see after this very short deck profile is gonna blow your mind. I was lapping this combo and I was surprised. Like I was surprised at how much this deck can now do with Azamina. This is Chimera, Azamina, Fiendsmith. This deck is incredible. It's super versatile. It has a lot of non-engine and it's extremely explosive, right? Now, what you're gonna see here is the deck profile that I think has a lot of flexibility. There's like 12 non-engine. You can customize it however you want. You can go with board breakers. I went with hand traps because it works well with Sinful Spells Deception that needs to tribute monsters, right? But you can go like three talents, board breakers. I think this deck can really break boards easily. And then I'm gonna show you the two card combo that ends on like, I'm not kidding, I think 12 interruptions. I'm not kidding, like this deck is insane. And there's a lot of spicy goo here that you probably haven't seen before. Let's start off with the first engine, which is the Chimera engine. And this card is the best card of this deck, to be honest, which is Nightmare Apprentice. You play three of this because you rather start with this than any of the other combo starters. And the other three of that we're playing is Gazelle. And it is extremely good in this deck because this card, when used as fusion material and goes to the graveyard, it can search the Abels of the original Sin, which is the strongest end board monster we're gonna end on in this combo. So three, three of the best starters. And then just to make sure we don't draw too many normal summons, we're only playing two Kotal and two Mirror Swords Knight, just also not to immediately lose to Droll. And then one Burfamat, and of course, three Chimera Fusion, it unlocks your hand and it starts your plays. Obviously, not once per turn. This card is amazing. This is the Chimera Engine. Now, we're also playing one Diabelles, the original Sin Keeper. This card is probably, honestly, you're ending on Omni Negates and Pops and Destruction Negates. This is the best card in your end board because it says your opponent has to set traps and spells before they activate them. So any quick play is immediately demolished. Any trap cards like Imperm, Impulse, Dominus, Purge, Droplets, Called By, they're all dead, right? They're all immediately dead. They have to set them. And then once the card is set, you can pop one of your own cards, pop one, of, one card your opponent controls, or just make them set and then Guardian Chimera all of their board. This card is bonkers and the most important thing in this deck, and this is probably not how you've used this card before, read the first line of text that says if a Sinful Spoils card is in, is in either player's graveyard, you can special summon this card from your hand for free, not even activated. And since we will activate Wanted or Sinful Spoils Deception beforehand, this card is just going to be boop, placed on your field. This card is insane. And another card that features Diabelles is Sinful Spoils of Slumber Morian. Now, this is a Sinful Spoils card that you can search of Mu Rissialago, and it's basically a Book of Moon for special summon monsters. Nothing too special about that. The special part is that besides being an interruption, it is able to be used by Hollow Does Amina, send it to the graveyard, and then if you control a level five or higher illusion monster while it's in the graveyard, you can set it back. So it's essentially free send from your Hollow as Amina. And since you already control the Omni Negate, you can just set it, it's an additional interruption. This is probably the, the spice here. Now, a Dusted Gold and um, Sinister Necrom are your access to the Fiendsmith line. And of course, Dark Fusion doesn't hurt to have if you draw the Dusted Gold because it unlocks fusions. It basically fusion summons your Burfamat and makes it untargetable. And then we're also playing one Engraver and one Lacrima just to complete the lineup to make it, um, to make basically a Dusted Gold, a one card um, Fiendsmith engine, full Fiendsmith combo. And you're gonna see that in the combo tutorial we're gonna have soon. Now, basically full and complete Sinful Spoils engine with three Bellstar, three Deception and three Wanted. This is of course the, the pricey part of this deck. If you want, you can play one Deception. It's fine. It's obviously the most um, 
expensive card, you can play one Deception. It will still work, just two cards less consistent. And then, of course, Hollow Azamina, which unlocks your incredible fusions. And once we saw the Azaminas were all illusions, it was just bound to happen that there will be synergy. And of course, one Azarun, because we're ending on a rabbit who's also an illusion. Now, basically, 12 non-engine. Can do whatever the hell you want. Go crazy. Want to try board breakers? Try them. I like to have more monsters because deception requires monsters, but everything else here is flex. And I love the fact that this is such a engine heavy deck that also feels light in terms of how you utilize your non-engine. Quickly over the extra deck so we can go over to the combo. We're playing one Moo, one Soul. If you haven't seen this card in my branded video, it is an illusion plus fiend. So there's something super cool you can do with that. I'll show you in the combo. On summon, target one card, send it to the graveyard. Insane. And of course, Ilya Sylvia, which you already know. One Desiree, one se sequence, you already know these cards. Moon, Requiem, Little Knight, Cross Sheep, important. Chimera, Guardian Chimera, Magnum, Perfumet, Chaos Angel, and Silhouette Rabbit. Let us jump into the combo. Are you ready? Because this is quite a combo. Pay close attention. We're gonna be dropping an insane amount of interruptions here. It's a two card combo. Any way to Diabellstar, plus any way to Gazelle, plus I think you need two sends. You end on one extra card in hand. So we have the extra three cards here, okay? So let us begin with activating Wanted Seeker of Sinful Spoils, and we're gonna be grabbing out Diabellstar to our hand. Now this goes to Grave, and we will summon the Bell Star. We need to be mindful of space because we're gonna be filling up every single zone in this board. Activate the Diabell's the Bell Star uh, and setting, of course, the Deception onto the field. Now we're gonna be summoning the Apprentice. Also, zoning is important, so pay attention to how I do that. Um, apprentice effects. Let's take down this a little bit and we're gonna be searching out a copy of Kotal. This basically just searches any illusion monster and we're gonna be activating Kotal and then adding Swords Knight here. So we're gonna be normal summoning the Swords Knight, activating the effect and this will special summon out a gazelle from the deck, which we can activate the effect on summon and search a copy of Chimera Fusion right here. Now we can go ahead and activate the Deception of the Sinful Spoils, tributing the Bell Star, and now we can add Hallowed Azamina to our hand, right? Now we're gonna be activating Hallowed Azamina, sending Deception to the graveyard, and summoning our first Azamina monster, which is going to be Azamina Mu Risielago. We're gonna be activating the effect here, and we're gonna be searching for um, the Sinful Spoils of slumber morian you're gonna see in a second how we use that now we're gonna be activating our first garmaer fusion of the turn and we're gonna be using gazelle and moo a beast and an illusion to the grave and summoning out the berfamat here now we're gonna be going chain link one berfamat to dump from the deck and then chain link two gazelle to search any illusion we're gonna be searching the abels from the deck and we are also going to be sending to the graveyard Sinister Necrom, which is going to be in the other pile of cards. There we go. Sinister Necrom all the way to the graveyard. Now, basically, at this point, we can just slap the Abels onto the board. Now we are protected from Imperm, Impulse, Evenly, Dominus Purge, anything, right? We are completely sealed off because your opponent has to set traps and spells before they activate them. So basically, that is it. Now, we're gonna be going ahead, shuffling back our Moor Risielago to bring back the Hollow Desamina, and we can activate the Hollow Desamina. Uh, we're probably gonna wait a second on that, actually, and we're gonna be linking off here into Cross Sheep. Yeah, that's important. That's important, we need a cross sheep first, okay? Um, now, we're gonna be activating Hollowed as Amina, sending the Morian from hand. That way, 
we can get ourselves a copy of Ilya, Sylvia. We got an Omni Negate on the board. Now, Cross Sheep is gonna trigger, and we're gonna be summoning back our Mirror Swords Knight for the opponent's turn. Now, we can go ahead and also grab Chimera Fusion back from the graveyard. We still have two cards in hand here, and we can activate the effect of Morian because we control level five or higher illusion monster. We can set it onto the board, right? So Chimera Fusion, we're gonna probably set that as well throughout the rest of the turn. Now, Sinister Necrom on its own is full Fiendsmith combo. So we're gonna do that. Banish it to summon an evil hero from the deck. And that's obviously going to be a Dusted Gold, which is right here. Now, a Dusted Gold links Link 1 into Requiem, which activates its effect to summon Lacrima from the deck. Lacrima effect dumps the engraver into the graveyard, and the engraver shuffles back the adusted gold back into the deck to summon itself. Full zones are met, and we link off these two for a sequence, which we're going to be activating here. Activate the effect of fusion, shuffle all three of these, all of our light fiends, to summon, of course, good old boy Desiree, right? Now, check this out. We're gonna be linking up sequence and cross into our next illusion monster, which is gonna be Silhouette Rabbit. Silhouette Rabbit is gonna trigger and set the Azarune from the deck. Let us find it. This is gonna be another layer of interruption here. Then, um, basically, our combo is complete, but let me show you what happens next, right? We still have one card in hand, right? And during the end phase, we get um, Deception of the Sinful Spoils back, and don't forget to equip the sequence. So what do we have here? Surface level, okay? We have a pop, target pop um, with rabbit. We have... Um, a summon gate with Azarune. We have Book of Eclipse, a uh, Book of Moon for a special summoned monster. We have Target Negate for non target negate for two on resolution. We have an Omni Negate. And we have this, which is the most important part of the combo, which is anti spell for spells and traps, basically, right? If a card is set, you can target one card you control and one card your opponent controls, and basically pop them, right? And, most importantly, you have Chimera Fusion, right? So during your opponent's turn, you're going to be going with the Mirror Swords Knight to summon the Burfamet from the deck. You're not going to be needing anything else, and this is just going to plus you additionally and add you two more cards. And this can also summon back Illusions from the Graveyard, so you can use this and this, for example, as Fusion Material if you want, and just bring it back and basically any other thing that you want from the graveyard, you can bring back, right? Um, now, you can do a few things. You can make your opponent set cards and then Guardian Chimera them to pop the rest of their cards. You can go Magnum the Reliever. You can go for um, Chimera, the King of Phantom Beasts, to hand loop them and then get an additional negate in the graveyard because you already have Mirror Swords Knight, right? Or you can do something that is really funny, really, really funny, right? You can go and use, for example, if you already felt like um, you have used your Diabelles or even your Silhouette Rabbit, right? You can go and Desiree, of course. Once you've used that, you can go Chimera Fusion for these two, which are an Illusion and a Fiend, and summon the Azamina Soul. Chain one, target a card on the field and send it to the graveyard. Chain two, target a card on the field and send it to the graveyard. Send two with one Chimera Fusion, okay? So basically that's another two interruption. Desiree is another one, um, so that's three. Rabbit and Azarun are five, six, seven, <laughs> infinite, eight, you know? Um, and you can layer more and more interruptions if you go into different routes. So, this is 
an insane end board. This is just an unreasonable, unbelievable end board that just doesn't make any sense. And this is only off two cards. The three card combo is even more insane with SB Knight on the board, but this is just mind-blowingly good. Like this is so, so powerful. Eight, nine, 10 interruptions on this board. And yeah, this is Chimera Azamina. You can see how well the Azamina cards fit into the lore. And we knew that once they're all illusions, it will just be a matter of time until, you know, it's gonna be broken in Chimera. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Leave your thoughts, like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.